Hello everyone, my name is Anand Kumar Jha and you are watching Code with Anand. So in the last video we talk about how to create a data adapter transfer uh, data adapter extract. In that video uh, we just learn like how to create extract, how to fetch the data from uh, any uh, account. So in this video we are going to talk about uh, data adapter transform. So data adapter transform is generally used for manipulating the data. Manipulating means uh, from one form to other form without uh, uh, retrieving, uh, without reading or writing any kind of data. So same way, uh, yeah. So for that, uh, let's open our org. So uh, we are in our org right now, uh, where we are going to create the data adapter transform. So for uh, creating data adapter transform, you have to follow the same path. Uh, like uh, first, you have to. Uh, go to uh, click on new once you click on new you will get this interface where you have to enter the data adapter name so we are going to give the data adapter name first we are going to uh, transform the data adapter uh, data from uh, object to list uh, it's kind of easy one through this way you can learn how to uh, transform from one format to other format so just let me write as a poc obj to list and uh, you have to use interface type as a transform and input i am going to use as json and output i am going to get as a json so i am going to use this only and once you click on save you will get interface uh, for, for uh, creating the data adapter so uh, here we have four options like previously in the case of data adapter extract we were having uh, like uh, uh, one option as a object as well here we have only four option formula transform option and preview so under formula you can write any kind of formula to combine and uh, merge the list and everything you can do here in the transform format we are going to use like from which format we are going to transform same under options and uh, in the preview you are going to provide the input and in the response you will get the output so let's uh, open any data adapter extract uh, let's suppose last time we use one data adapter to fetch the details so we are going to use this data adapter to get the data so let me open any account so that i can use that account id so once you click on account you can open from here as well or you can do one thing you can open uh, account from sales as well you can click on sales under new uh, click on new tab and you will get the interface here or you can do one thing you can create your own app uh, by the way omni studio provide omni studio uh, console here if you can see let me open mm yeah so you can see omni studio console and you can create your own app as well so i created omni studio test app where i am using the lwc things we will talk about that later so you can create your own way uh, as well so this is our account the last time we uh, used for updating the details so we have the account uh, code with anand we are going to use this one so let's uh, <coughs> sorry let's copy the id and the last time the data adapter which we created to fetch the details so we are going to fetch the details right now from this account and we are going to use the same data so we have this uh, data in the object format if you can see so this is in a json format if you want to validate the json you can use json there are multiple JSON validator and uh, is present online. You can check any one. Which one is favorite? My favorite is JSON Lint. So you can just pass here and you can use validate JSON as well. So you can see the response as a valid JSON. So we are going to uh, use this uh, object data to convert into the list format. So this is our data. So for that we are going to uh, pass input here and uh, you can see the account is in the object right now object format so we are going to transform into list format so for that you have to come to the transform tab under this one input is uh, uh, like uh, we are uh, input path means the input we are going to provide as a node like uh, account right now and the output we are going to get <coughs> so i'll create a input node as a account because account as a uh, is a input node and the output node uh, like uh, you 
use account details as a output node details as a output node and for transforming from one format you can use the data adapter uh, data type here so use data type as a list map so what it will do it will convert from object to list of a map and uh, you can just uh, minimize this one and click here and click on execute so once you click on execute you can see it's convert from object normal object to as a list you can see list option is here so this way you can transform data from one format to another format the same way you can use the formula and uh, we are uh, we will show you in the coming videos how to use the formula how you can okay uh, let's suppose uh, we you have two lists uh, two lists of data let's suppose we have uh, one account id uh, let me create one data so let me open notepad so let's suppose uh, we have one list uh, copy the list from here whatever list we get right now in under the preview just copy the list okay so first list this one and the second list this one so just type uh, first list as a account just account keep account and second list as a account details and just change name like code with keep the number as something like uh, 800 keep a uh, number imply as a 1000 okay so what we are going to do right now we are going to uh, transform this list from okay so let me copy this one and control x and let me paste here okay so then we can validate is this the valid uh, json or not through the json validator validate so you can see this is the valid json once i click valid json so what we are going to we are going to merge this list and this list so let me copy this one and uh, come to this one and here you can do you can paste it here okay now what we are going to do we are going to merge this list into the one new list so what you can do under the formula you can click on add formula and there is one formula list merge so list merge uh, you can use here and list merge accepting two uh, uh, accepting like uh, parameters first parameter is like you have to keep on what basis you are going to merge two lists so on the basis uh, we are going to merge two lists on the basis of id so you have to provide as a id okay and then you have to provide the name of the list so so list name is first list name is what so first list name is account okay and first list name is account and second list name is account details okay and you can use list merge value okay under transform you can do one thing you can copy the list merge value and under transform you can use it here as a input list merge value and remove the data type from list to null okay and once you remove the data type from here you can go and click on preview under preview okay list is not a function or operator you can do one thing uh, so uh, we can do one thing uh, let's check uh, what is the id account number okay uh, yeah there is some, uh, i i change the name of the account you can see i change the uh, account number as well as I change the uh, number of employee but i forget to change the id so sometimes it can cause issue or sometimes uh, like uh, there is issue with the internet connection or org like a cache issue if you can see here so it can cause the error so uh, let's refresh this one and then let's try again to execute uh, that are we getting the same error or what so let's just copy the data 
let's try so we have created a list merge function under list merge function we are going to merge two list on the basis of id and then you have to provide the input like which list you want to merge so list account and account details and then you have to provide the input path as a formula result path so under input path i gave this one and output as a account note i want to get so under the preview okay there is already data so you have to just click on execute so let's see okay so you can see now we are getting the value but there is one more issue so you can see here the id of the account is same so uh, it's give returning only one data because id is getting uh, duplicated so let's open some account okay already we have the account here so uh, let me open anand ltd and, and uh, copy the id of the account so that it can give some different value so i'll just paste the id here and let me change the account name anand ltd okay so uh, i made changes in the name as well and uh, yeah and once you click on execute what it will do it will return one uh, list but with two value with the same node so once you click on execute you can see we are we we were having two list one list account and one is account details but right now we have only one list under one node account details we have two value as a object so this way you can use formula from here to merge two different lists you can use multiple things here uh, first uh, if you, i want to show you you can uh, use a uh, list size as well so let's see uh, if this is work or not copy and uh, list suppose we have list size uh, i am just trying hit and try thinking it will work or not so just try uh, uh, we can do one thing instead of using here let's create one more formula so under one more formula we can do one thing list size and under list size let's try this list merge value can we use that ah, we can use that so no i don't think we can use that so let's do one thing instead of using that first try with this one so yeah let's try with this and uh, use as a list size and use this value list size to in the transform path so once you click here it will automatically give you the input and let's just pass here value and click on preview let's see are we getting or not so yeah so we are getting the value of two because we have two value under the list one this one and one this one so you can use this way uh, the formula as well so you can use multiple formula dependence on uh, depending on your requirement in the upcoming videos we are going to talk more about this formula things and uh, transform things but from the next video we are going to introduce uh, uh, in talk about in, uh, in integration procedure and uh, how to use uh, data adapter under the integration procedure or remote action under the integration procedure once we complete the integration topic then we will move to the front end like uh, flex card and the omni stood uh, omni script how to use uh, these uh, data source on the flex card and omni script so if you want to learn more just uh, subscribe the video and share with your friends thank you thank you everyone yeah